Hey guys, welcome back to Hearts in the Plan. It is Brittany. So today's video is going to be another Plan With Me video, but it's going to be special because it's going to be a Valentine's Day planner collab with Queen's Fancy Plans. So you can follow her on her Instagram page and subscribe to her channel. We're going to be giving you guys a Valentine's Day themed planner spread. Check her out. She has a very fun aesthetic with like unicorns and bright colors and everything like that. Um, she also even has her own planner podcast. So definitely check her out, follow her on all of her socials. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's get into it. So this week, just like last week, but this week even more is gonna be very busy. So on Saturday, we move into our new house and then, you know, it's just gonna be a crazy week. Um, but I also still have to ship out a lot of things this week for my beauty channel. And I do have to still record some videos before we move. So as I told you guys in my videos before, the wax paper technique saves me a lot of time. And lately you guys have seen me um, just come on camera with my wax paper already done because I don't have a lot of time to show everything. But um, I kind of did a little bit of pre-planning, so I'm gonna show more of me kind of finding out my spread and everything with you guys. But I'm not gonna do this again. I wanna emphasize this. I don't have a lot of time to do that with all of my Plan With Me videos. So, I mean, when I do it, it's just when I have the time. So I'm just gonna be doing it today and sometimes every now and again, but definitely not all the time. So. I went to Target's dollar spot probably in January and I saw these stickers. They are not by, you know, I haven't planned or anything. They were just in a dollar spot. And these are little envelopes with um, like love notes in it. Um, 3D stickers can be a bit tough because when you write on the next week, it's probably gonna mess up a little bit. So I'll just have to be um, thinking about that as I'm doing it. I'm just gonna start going, so. So far I have this sticker here because I want to, uh, I'm gonna do a try on haul on Monday, hopefully. And I think that would be good with just like a, a sticker right here. Maybe a, a pink sticker. I love gold, so I'm probably gonna have some gold accents probably if I still have some gold stickers in here. I use up all of my gold stickers, y'all. Experimenting and playing around right now. So this and this down here, it's not set on here. This is from the girl sticker book from Agenda 52. This one right here. So I'm just gonna put this down. Let's see how I feel about it. And I'm gonna put a gold sticker on top see what that looks like. That looks very posh. And of course I do have, I'm gonna go in this Amy Tangerine uh, American Craft sticker book. And I liked this page here that has to do on it. It's a pink functional sticker and it has gold accents, so. That is pretty good. I might change my mind though. Cause it's such a pink spread to begin with. I think I need to layer another flower or something behind it. We'll see. Okay, that's cool for now. I really want to use this, so. So, you said 3D, does it come out? That's cute. I don't know how that's gonna be though. I think I'm gonna take this off and just put my own tape burner, tape burner behind it. Once I figure it out, I'm just gonna sit that there for the first time. I'm gonna sit that there for now. 
By the way, that will still be cute. I can put it down here and then like put like this week and then have everything right there. I think that would be really cute. I definitely want to have flowers around the edge at the top. And I'm getting these flowers from the seasonal sticker book. This is one of the teacher ones, if I'm not mistaken. It has some really good stuff in here. And these flowers are, you know, they look romantic and whatnot. Yeah, so even if I'm not doing uh, a plan with me, like recording one, I'm gonna use the wax paper spread just so I can get the layout together. Um, it, it really helps. I can't believe I just started doing this this year because it's been so helpful. Now this is the Celebrate sticker book and I really like how these banners look. And of course they have pink and like a darker pink in here as well. So Monday, well, Saturday the 15th is, you know, moving day. So I think I'm gonna make that a big deal and put a banner at the top. And we got a lot of things going on at one time on that day. So, all right. So I went to this, the latest colorful boxes sticker book it has this pages of pinks and reds and stuff. So I'm probably gonna use that on Saturday. Okay, this random page that you see is from the rainbow. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it's from this rainbow, rainbow mega pack book, but it fell out. But of course I'm still using it. Um, I think I'm just gonna put some bullet points here. And I'm gonna use red, cause we've used a lot of pink in this spread so far, but not as much red. And I'm gonna put some bullet stickers. So because I'm showing this process of, you know, me actually finding the stickers and stuff, with the actual part of me, you know, put my stuff on the, the spread, that's gonna be sped up like crazy. Okay, so clear stickers from the dollar spot. I thought these would be um, paper stickers, but that's pretty nice. Um, we gotta have, these are pretty big, so I'll, I still wanna have room to write. So I'll just have probably one day where this is the only thing. These are really clear. Or should it be up here with the actual Valentine's Day? I still want to have space. I don't want to have just kind of. That could be. Okay, I don't use sticker dolls in my spreads that much because sometimes I feel like they can clash and stuff like that. But I want to try to use some of my sticker dolls, you know, just because I, you know, I paid for them and I don't want to just have them go to waste. So I'm just going to see which ones I want to use. Because I have so many of them. I like this girl right here because I wear these vans all the time. These particular vans, I think I might use her. And she has on red. Yes, ma'am. I don't know where I'm going to place her though. She 
She's so cool. I love it. I know it's February and she doesn't have a jacket on, but whatever, man. That's pretty cute. But then it has this, you know, vertical sticker here and then she's down here like that. I think I want to put her somewhere else. Kind of like her right here. I think I'm gonna do that. And this sticker is from Red Lyrics and I purchased these like last year, so yeah. That's really cute. She has dreads and an off the, sh off the shoulder top that looks pretty romantic. Let me try to get this off. This is always a little bit complicated. Okay, just got it in between and took it off that way. Still wanna have some, a lot of good space to write. Okay. All right, I gotta say, I'm loving this so far. I think it looks great. So I am gonna go into this sticker book from American Crafts and some of the American Crafts sticker books don't like have a name on them until you like go online and try to find them. But I don't know what this one is called, but this list sticker, these list stickers with the hearts are perfect for this week. So I'm gonna use those. So first of all, I'm gonna replace or cover the dots over here with that and see how that goes. And I don't really have to use any correction tape. Okay, and I could use It right here as well on Thursday you move it up just a little bit okay let's see what else is in this book we got a lot of cute little illustrations but I think I want to get the functional boxes out of the way first. So this is a horizontal layout sticker book. And so far I haven't been like using this that much. I, I'm not as impressed with it as I thought I would be. Um, but I think we can find something to use in it today. Like this, like this uh, text box here, that's 3D works. And I do need a functional sticker so I can put that right here on Wednesday. Let's do, okay, now this page might be really helpful. Um, let's see, focus on works, important works. Let's try focus on. I wish they had a pink must do, but I don't see one. Let's try focus on. Okay, I'm back in the American Craft sticker book, this one right here. And I like these bullet stickers, so I'm gonna use those. And I think that kind of opens up the space a bit more than having another, you know, heavier sticker right there. And I have these red ones that I'm gonna put on this side somewhere, probably right here. Great. 
All right, let's see what that, what else is in here. If you don't have any American American craft sticker books, you gotta pick up some. They have some of the cutest stuff. Of course, you know, we love our Happy Planner stuff, but they got some good stuff too. I feel like this works beside her. And I think I should have enough space to write. I should, if I don't, uh, you guys will see a, another colorful box in my after the pen on my Instagram. Cute. That could be cute to have it off center like that. That's not something I normally do, but I think I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna probably cut it up just a little bit on all the edges. That could be cute. Okay, so you guys get the basic gist of what this spread is gonna look like. I think it's so beautiful. Like the horizontal layout, I can't believe I like it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting stuff on here and then I'll pop in when I start to do stuff like cutting the edges off and stuff like that. But for the most part, I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer everything and then come back to you guys. Okay, so this sticker right here that says Home Sweet Home, I think it's from one of the Agenda 52 stickers, uh, sticker books. Um, I had this on January 10th because that was our original closing date, but then it got pushed back to January 24th. And I just saved this, this sticker, because I know I wanted to use it. So it's gonna be perfect on moving day. And I changed some things around so I could accommodate this sticker. And I'm gonna put it right there. Well, I'll move it just a little bit. There we go. And I guess to keep the symmetry, keep it. I want to use this sticker, but I don't want to use it over here anymore because I really want a lot of space to write on Wednesday. So I think I'm going to move it to this side and then crop it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use it right here. Overlap a little bit. I'm going to use my Recollections um, tape runner. And I wrote on the little envelopes that I got from the Target dollar spot with my Pilot G207 pen. And this is in metallic pink. And I like that it's pink, but it still shows up you know, really well. So I took off the backing because I didn't want that 3D look because I didn't feel like it would stick like that. Or it would stick, but when I go to write on the next week, it would be kind of messed up. So I'm just gonna put that down here. So it says focus on this week. And I think that's pretty cool. And then I wrote happy 
V-Day on this one. And I'm gonna have this one sticking out a little bit. So I need to lift that up and tape it down. All right, y'all, so here is my final spread. I think this turned out so cute. I really like how it looks versus my Valentine spread from 2019. Let's actually check that out. Okay, here was my Valentine's Day spread from last year. It's not, you know, ugly or anything, but it's just not as creative. I just feel like I took like a colorful, that page where it was, I think I took a page from a color story and that's pretty much what I did last year. And this is this year and I really like how this turned out. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. Please make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are on. Um, shout out to Queen Fancy Plans for doing this Valentine's Day uh, spread collab with me. And if you haven't you know, check out her channel. Go ahead and check it out. Subscribe to her channel. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.